Yes, y'all know what it is, man. We back again. They're in a nice old show. Yeah, I mean, featuring Big Sosa, Big Top. Uh, yeah, you know I mean, my stepson, man. Uh, I had to cut that last episode short. You know, we got interrupted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For those that don't know, man, the reason why we do record in our studio house, me studio room, me and ISO, we have a chaotic house. You know how our house is. <laughs> Kids, <laughs> dogs, they was everything. everything so you know what I mean? I just in my head thinking, let's do it in the backyard. And we can get it done, but neighbors, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everything else like that. But we still got the episode without. The episode was good. They enjoyed it, man. So, yeah, I mean, usually on Fridays, we do, like, something where we talk about, like, trending topics or we just answer questions. I picked out some questions from people who, like, around your age range, right? Mm -hmm. So, you can help me with these questions. You know what I'm saying? If it's a question you feel like, you know what I mean, you can help them with, you know what I mean, we go in. If it's a question where you, like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying then? Yeah, I mean, I'll answer the question. And you can tell me if it's good advice or not Not so good advice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't going to front, man. You handled yourself real well. I ain't, I ain't know that you was going to be like back and forth like that. You handled yourself cool, right? Because, you know, me and ISO, we always thinking of life forward, right? To us, it's bigger than just podcasting for us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like we just doing it for us. We got plans on bringing other people on, helping other people with their podcasts. And when you had, I was like, damn, that's crazy. My stepson did this thing. I always had this idea, like, I wonder if my stepson could do his own podcast with Jimmy. Like, you and your homies, right? Mm -hmm. It could be like a set, it could be like the lunchroom. You know how the bell go off, y'all come in the lunchroom? So the bell go off, y'all come in the lunchroom, y'all sit, y'all just talk. Mm -hmm. About whatever. Like, y'all I mean, you can talk about your day, you can talk about what y'all went through, you know what I mean? What y'all going through, stuff like that. Then the bell ring, and then into the pod. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then y'all, that'll be y'all podcast. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about that. I was like, damn, you know what I mean? He really handled this stuff well in that drink. Like, you know what I'm saying? That'd be cool. You know what I mean? That would be all right. The only thing is, well, you know, lunchroom is going to be. You know, I know. No, no, no. See, we can create that atmosphere. It don't have to be the lunchroom. Yeah. You know what I mean? We can go get a lunch table from Amazon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. No, but you could do shit like that. Like, we don't have to be that. We could go get a lunch table, put that shit anywhere. Like, you know what I mean? Because, you know, me me and ISO, we always talk and we got, we got plans on just doing other shit. So. We we gonna get some other things, but when you did, I was like, damn, you really handled yourself cool. So you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm really gonna look into that now. You know what I mean? Because we can get a, we can put a lunch table in here. Not to say not to say this is where it would be at, but just to give you an example. Mm -hmm. Lunch table could be in the dining room. You put it here. I could fucking duplicate the sound of a of a bell on my laptop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all just come in, camera set up. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all don't have to have. Well, I have been looking at lavalier microphones, which is the cordless ones. Mm -hmm. Those y'all come in, y'all just vibe, y'all just talk. Because I'm pretty sure. Y'all can draw an audience. Y'all young. It's going to be other young people that's going to be like, yeah, I'm going through the same thing. Or, yo, they just bitten right now. Y'all you know I mean? can just be a joke. Y'all just, y'all just, you know what I mean? Cracking jokes. Yeah. Oh, yo, they crack, they bitten right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? That. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to look into that, though. You know what I'm saying? Because even with your music career, that could be another way for you to connect with listeners, with fans. Yeah. You know what I mean? To grow that. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm really going to look into that, man. Because I think that will really help y'all. Even when you told me about y'all clothing, y'all clothing line, that could be another way for y'all to. That's part of the cool one right here. That's, oh, that's part of y'all cool one? Mm -hmm. Like no other. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But, I mean, you did. You handled yourself well, man. I'm proud of you. I ain't going to front you. I'm, I'm proud of how you did your thing, man. It was a good episode. Even ISO said you did good. He texted me, told me, yo, I like that joint. You know what I mean? So, shout out to bro. You know what I mean? Get well soon, man, so we, I can get back to the equipment that we got. We can do everything the way we do it, man. But until then, we're going to do it like this. All right, here you go. This joint say is... Uh, I'm Sarah from New York, and I'm 16. I'm dating a guy from Los Angeles, and we have a significant age gap. Age gap. She ain't tell us the age gap. She just said it's big. It's you know what I'm saying? How can we make our relationship work despite the distance and age difference? Now, my thing, I'm curious, right? Because she said she's 16. Whoa. That's young, young, right? And she said she dating a nigga in LA, and it's a big age gap. She said significant. So I'm figuring... I don't even know how that. He could be like 24, oh, 20, you know what I mean? Big, significant, dog. No, she's got like 30. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But do you think that a, a um, because you know, New York to LA, that's in the end. Mm -hmm. You think that will be able to work? Like, let's say your girl move, you like, yo, let's just keep it going. You think, yeah, how the fuck we gonna do that? Nah, I'm gonna tell you, I can't do long distance. I feel you. I got, you gotta be able to see me. <laughs> I can't, like, it's so much you can do on the phone. Right, right. So to be able to do a long distance relationship, that is so crazy. Yeah. And the age get, so you trying to tell me you mess with somebody thousands of miles away? More, more, more yeah. And he a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna say like this: 
as the as a pop, as a dad, right? If a man was ever to come to me like, yo, I mess with somebody, first I'm like, if you 16, how you meet this nigga? Yeah. Like, like, how did you meet somebody and they over there? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because now I'm curious on, like, what you doing. Like, because it could be I've been on the internet. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm vibing with this motherfucker on the internet. So I'm like, you don't even know who this dude is, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you assuming that he, what he tell you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I would, I, 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 I agree with you. I, I can't do no long distance things, too. Because, I mean, like, we men. You yeah. know what I mean? Keep, like... keep me faithful. <laughs> No, real shit. Like, if you all the way over there and I'm all the way over here, like, really, what's keeping me faithful? Yeah. I might need that. I might be going through something right now and I need you. I need you. Like, I need you. I mean, like, I'm fucked up. Like, I need a hug. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Keep. I, I agree with you, man. I don't think long distance relationships will work. Plus, when you that young, when you that, like, I'm older. So, like, I'm kind of set. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and mommy don't walk out the house and we worrying about, like, each other cheating. We old. You know what I'm saying? But when you young, I don't think that will work, man. When you young, stuff like that is always on your mind. What, cheating? Even for you now? Nah, me, I don't really care. So you don't care if your girl was, like, doing something else? I be hearing your phone conversations. Don't lie to me, bro. I, it's more of, like, I do, but sometimes you got to play that rule and just keep it big. <laughs> you got to play that rule. You got to act like you care the whole time. Well, I'm going to say like this. Even though you don't care, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, even though, like, you know what I mean? Because you young, you could be going through with somebody, and they could be accusing you of something you ain't even doing. Know what I mean? So within the cheating thing, that 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 could be aggravating to you. No matter how, no matter how you keep it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? You just gotta be careful sometimes, man. Cause I ain't gonna front like, uh, like I said, I'm older now. So shit, like like I said, like like I feel like you like certain things don't bother me. But if I was younger, if a person kept accusing me of cheating, I'm like, fuck it, I'm not gonna cheat. Yeah, cause I feel like they accuse me, that mean they really like no feet that bother me. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know what I mean? But then again, see, with y'all, like you said before, right? Like, y'all normalize talking to certain, more than one person, right? Mm-hmm. So the, the issues you going through with this motherfucker, you putting that on me because he doing shit to you. Yeah. I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? But you so worried about what he doing, now you think I'm doing the same shit that he doing, so, you know what I mean? I think it's better just to deal with one person at a time, man. We we, we, we all different, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hmm? I feel you. All right, this is going to say, hey, I'm Jake from Miami. And I'm terrible at saving money. I always end up spending it all. Can you give me specific tips on how to resist temptations and start saving for the future? You don't got no tips for that because you will spend you will spend the haul against you. You get it and it got to go. Yeah, but some, you got to be disciplined. That's all. You got to be disciplined. You got to learn. Especially like when you growing. Mm-hmm. With all that spending money all the time. Thing, sometimes you got to limit that. Yeah. One thing I always say to my friends when they get money because they work, get your check. Take like at least one fifty, two hundred out there checks to put it to the side. Wherever you got it's a lot like, for y'all though. You gonna put two fifty to the side? One one fifty to two hundred, yeah. Okay. Put it to the side, whatever you got. Left if you could do that, then that's cool. Right on front. Mm-hmm. I would say all right. So for the people that can't do it, right? Sometimes because we we try to do everything, we want to do everything in these big gaps and shit, right? Like let's say you start working out, you want to like bet I'm gonna work out two hours a day. I'm gonna do this straight off the rip. Sometimes you gotta start small, so. Let's say there's a motherfucker that you you got a homie he got he got trouble saving money. You can be like, yo, dog, just put twenty to the side, let that twenty build up, and then because sometimes when you look back at that money, you might be like, damn, I saved up five. Mm-hmm. Now you more encouraged, like I'm gonna try to save up thirty now or forty. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to start small to build up that. You know what I mean, that confidence in yourself, like All right, I can do it. Like if you work out, like you start working out like ten minutes a day, twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. The more you see your body change, like, damn, bet. I'm going to do an hour now. So The more you start to ease into it. Yeah, the more you start to ease into it, the more you feel better about it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, my man, my man said he in Miami, though. It got to be crazy to see money out there. It's nice to sell out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> things are buying spending in Miami, so. Yeah, it's nice out there. That's what I'm saying. But, like, you know what I mean? That's, that's yeah, man, but, you know, sometimes you got to, like I always tell you, you got to understand what you want to do. Mm-hmm. So even though the temptations come, you still got to be like, I can't be tempted down because I can't sacrifice today. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know, once you uh, once you worry about saving money, I think you just, you just do the steps, man. And I'm going to say like this. This is why I kind of get you to understand. Like, this is why I know mommy be on you about certain shit. Certain shit I just let you do because you have to fuck up $100 to know how to save $100. Mm-hmm. You got to fuck up 1000 to understand how to save it. I can't just expect you just to get money fresh out the gate and you know how to save it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to be young and dumb and do the shit and then get mad at yourself like, I don't want to do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why sometimes I let you do your thing like, all right, eat. 
He gonna crash out, but he gonna learn from his mistakes. You know what I mean? So you know, learn from your mistakes like that. I'm trying to. There's one joint in here that you said something I wanted to skip to and go to. Uh, all right. Earn a night. So what's up, man? Me and my man have been friends for 13 years. Mm. I like his girlfriend. He's been cheating on her. Should I expose him so that I can get with her, or should my loyalty to my friend stay true? That is the craziest bad girl I've ever seen. That that's so crazy. Are you answering? He says, what? That's a bad He about to expose it. He about to hit it with that D low. He about to hit That's it like D Angelo Russell. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't. Like, if you, that's your man. Y'all be cool for 13 years. That's, that's something called a bro code. You can't break that code regardless of what your man doing. If he cheating or not, that's none of your business. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's certain situations you got to stay down and let, let them play out with something. I feel you. If he get caught up, that's on him. But don't be that guy to try to take his girlfriend and like play the superhero, the super, the Superman role. We can. Yeah, I feel you. You're right about that, man. Listen, you gotta. It's, it's listen. There's a million girls out here for you. You don't gotta. You know what I mean, try to be still your man, girl, for you to do all that. Just rock out and you know what I mean, find your own, man. You know what I mean. Find your own. Be happy like that, man. Yeah, man. So you know what I mean. Y'all gotta be careful out here because that's the type of friends that y'all deal with. That's. That's society nowadays. Yeah, bunch, bunch of bag doors. You think you think you think it's more on our part as males, like we do that, or more females do it's, that? It's more, way more females. That's so so yeah, I got you. I got you. I got because you. some females, I feel like girls are like too bipolar. Like one day they be cool with a girl, the next day they think they're ready to do something very diabolical like. to a girl, to their friend. Mm -hmm. I got you. I feel you on that. Because we grew up like that. Like you know what I'm saying, I, I was. Cause all right, it, when I was young, you'd be like, if your homie had a chick, you like, damn, she cool. Like, I need a chick too. Mm -hmm. But I would see, you know, I don't got number sisters. Chicks would be like, damn, I mean, my friend, she got a nice dude. I want him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that's just... that's where you see it from. You have like female friends. <laughs> yeah. they, you have a female friend will show you why you should not mess with females. Right, I feel you. Why do you think females don't have female friends though? Like a lot of females got dude friends. Yeah, it's because. It depends, because I have a female friend, but I, that's like my, my family. She is more of like, boys, some boys, if they got the right intentions, they're more understanding. I got you, I got you. And some can somewhat relate to like their situation. That's right. why sometimes boys be friends with girls instead of girls being friends with girls and boys be friends with boys. Right. It's more like girls and girls, they just, I don't know, it don't work out. <laughs> no, it don't, it don't work it out. It don't, it's weird like that, but it, 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 you're right though, it don't work out. I don't know why it's like that. I mean, it was a girl thing. You know what I'm saying? They always catty and hating on each other, man. But yeah, man, for the young boy like that, man, find your own lady, man. Don't be trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't even know that ain't even your homie, though, dog. Man, that's not, you, that's the, that's what came in your mind. It's not your that's homie. That's not your homie, dog. You wild, you wild for that. It's my nigga, but he be cheating on it. He wrong, he wrong for that. <laughs> he know he wrong. Yo. She's a good girl, dog. Like, he probably be that type boy while he out yeah. like, why you doing this to her, dog? Somebody give a mask and a cape, he getting ready to save the day. <laughs> no, he crazy for that. <laughs> He's too crazy. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's Emily from Chicago. My family situation is really tough right now. My parents are constantly fighting. Mm -hmm. What can I do to cope and help my family through this difficult time? Prioritize your peace. Yeah, you're right. I tell you that shit all the time, man. Fighting is normal, man. That's what people do. Mm -hmm. That don't mean like, you know I mean like me and mommy arguing. That don't mean that's the end of the world. That's just you gotta understand. We two people when we got two different opinions on things, and when you try to bring them together, it might be an argument. You might want to do this. I might want to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not. There's nothing wrong with arguing. There's nothing wrong with like. I mean, well, you said fighting. I don't know how far y'all situation going, but like yeah. two people arguing and shit. Nothing wrong with that. It's just me. Telling you how I feel, you telling me how you feel, and we got to come to some type of, you know what I mean, agreement. Yeah. That's all. So, like, a lot of people be like, oh, man, I don't like to fight. You know what I mean? Well, you going to agree with everything I said then? Because you going to tell me I don't like to argue, I don't like to fight. So, everything I say, you just going to do it. Some, sometimes people tend to just be quiet in argument. That's not good then. Because I'm going to say, like, that's not good because, like, like I said, I always use me and your mom as an example because, you know, like, so we've been together 13 years, right? So let's say something early on she wanted to do, and I was like, I don't like that shit. I'm quiet. So that means 13 years I've been doing something that I don't like. So that means 
when something happened, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explode on something small because of this shit though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I come in the crib, who dropped the last fucking Mountain Dew? Yeah. They're like, whoa, Mountain Dew, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you gotta it. you gotta address shit when it happened so that you can get over it. Because what if that person like, well, this is who I am and I'm not gonna change. All right, well, then I'm not going to waste 15 years of my life. I'm like, all right, well, it was nice knowing you. Mm -hmm. So, y'all got to be, I know, I know, it's crazy because I know we do that as men. Like, we we, we tend to get quiet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For some odd reason, the women always want to be right. Oh, they, yeah. It's more like, they, if they don't go that way, it's not. That's why I, I don't argue. I ain't going to lie. I don't like yeah. arguing. I, I see it. It's no pros in arguing. Only thing an argument is going to lead up to is eventually a breakup. And that's why I'm, that'd be cool after. I you don't think there's no pros at all for you. They ain't nothing beneficial in the argument. That's why in the argument, I agree to disagree. I move on. Yeah, but you don't fix this. You don't fix the situation though. Like that, that problem is still gonna be there. Cause how many times you gonna go through that same problem again? You probably go through that shit again and again and again. I hope not. So I hope the first time we address it and then we learn to move on. I feel you. We let it float in the air and disappear. That's what we just let it let float. Let it float. In. You, yep. you think that really happened? Just like fuck it. It's going take care of itself. No, bro. Some things gotta be addressed, man. Some things gotta be addressed, man. And I say like this: you should always give somebody the benefit of the doubt to know that the issue I'm bringing to you, if you care about me, we can work through it. Or if you don't, we can just separate. Mm. I'm not gonna not tell you that because then that's me saying like you're ignorant, okay. or I'm, I'm thinking like you're stupid or something like some. Because if I feel like man, she ain't able to fix this problem anyway. I'm saying like that's me really saying like you ignorant. You ain't able to do this. So if I got a problem with you, I'm like. I'm going to trust the fact that no, if I bring it up to you, we just going to fix it. And I want you to do the same to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like, people, some people would, like, it depends. Like, people, I feel like people was arrogant. Yeah, I agree. So especially, like, especially y'all in your generation. Yeah, 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 yeah very yeah. arrogant. So, like, if it is not going their way, they're going to do whatever it is. Need power to make it go their way. I got you. I got you. I feel you. I feel you on that. You right about that. Definitely. You know what I'm saying <laughs> that and you. The, the wild thing about that is you right. I know what you're talking about. Uh, this that ill. We got the, our overseas. Our overseas people are leaving us uh, questions. So, say Alex from London. Mm. Alex from London. I'm 18 years old. I feel lost when it comes to finding my passion in life. How did you discover your passion, and how do you have advice for someone trying to find their purpose? Mm. How you find your, how you find the thing that you love to do? Your shit just happened by mistake though. It just kind of happened randomly. Yeah, yeah, have a mistake. I mean, well, growing up, I played football. I love sports. Then, sports just didn't love you. My knees ain't love yeah, me. Yeah, your knees. My knees definitely <laughs> love me, so I switched to basketball. I almost cried when the doctor told you that. Like, you, 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 like, you got the bad knees. I'm like, damn, man. That, that hurt my heart for a minute. Yeah, yeah. It's but, all good though. I mean, I can tell you, so music. I really didn't want to do music. Damir is actually, he the one that made me start music. Okay. Because he was just, he would want to go in the room. He will show me a beat. He will show me his original songs. I was like, all right, they cool. He'll throw me a beat. I was like, I messed with it. I started doing it. Beginning wise, I was like, right, right, right. But like, it's like, once you make your own song, he's like, you get addicted to it. You keep listening to it. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, it's all right. I keep making more songs. And I'm just like, as I keep making more songs, I get more experience and know what to do, yeah, how to do it, how to do it properly. When they be coming out, I be like, yo, I'm a, I'm my own favorite rapper. Like I can't listen to nobody. Else. I feel you. No, that's what's up. So as to finding your own passion, what you do normally, your passion got to be based on like you, what you do on a regular basis. You feel me? I my passion is like rapping. That's what makes me happy. I do what makes me happy. That's yeah. my passion. So. Yeah. Whatever makes you happy, you got to pursue that. I feel you. No, you're right, though. Like, that's why, you know, people be saying that cliche shit. Like, you got to stay consistent. You just got to do this. But the thing about it, like, you say those things because the more you show up, the better you get. Because you're going to get better at it because you're doing it more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why everybody be like, you got to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it. And be patient. Because you'll get better and better and better at it without you even trying to get better. Because you do something so much, you'll get better at it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, man, like, that's why you said in the beginning, it started out like that, and then, shit, a year from now, you're going to be better than what you are now. Yeah. Next week, you're going to be better than what you are now, and then the month, and so, you know what I mean, you just got to keep, you got to stick with it, just keep doing it. You got to be, you got to be, you got, you have to be patient, 
You have to be patient. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell everybody, you got to be patient. That's why I tell your mom, you have to be patient. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to come when it's supposed to come, not when you want it to happen. Mm -hmm. When it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But um, the crazy thing about, like, I'm going to say like this. With me, right, like, I, I kind of, like, I kind of, like, got a destination of where I want to go. Like, a goal or set point. And when you kind of, like, set a destination, it take you another ways. You know what I mean? Like, be beginning, it was just like, man, I just want just to wanna help young boys out. You know what I mean? With everything I've been through, I want to do that. That's why me and ISO did the podcast. And then you do that, and certain other doors open up the more you do it. So you're like, all right, we can do this, and we can do this. Mm -hmm. Like you said, like, you could probably be like, all right, I can rap, and I can do this now. You know what I mean? Because more things going to become available to you because now you're getting good at this. Yeah. And now certain people won't start recognizing you. Like, all right, I can be, oh, all right, now I can... I can rap and I can start the clothing line. Mm -hmm. Or I can rap and I can do this. I can rap and I can be the video, you know I mean, the videographer. So, you know what I mean, the more you do, the, the the better destination that you have. As long as you have a destination. And don't just say, like, I don't know. Sometimes I understand that I don't know is a real answer. Yeah. I do understand that, like, I don't know. I do understand that there's a real answer. But sometimes if you're hungry, you have to have an idea of what you want to eat. You might be like, man, I don't even know, but like, I'm going to try McDonald's. On your way to McDonald's, you might pass a Chick-fil-A. Like, you know what? I'm about to go. My mind, I didn't even know this was over here. But you got to have a, some type of point where you want to go and let that take you to other things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? I, I do understand that I don't know is a real answer. But just try to, like you said, what am I good at, though? Like, what do I like to do? You know what I mean? Use that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is Maria from Toronto. It says, um, my name is Maria from Toronto. And my friends sometimes pressure me into doing things I'm not comfortable with. How can I assert myself and say no without losing my friends? Uh, sometimes, friends is not what you need. And if they're making you do bad things, come from my perspective, <laughs> you got to you gotta do the best of you. Like I said, prioritize your peace. Because I feel as though, like, I had to reevaluate my friend group. Okay, not just for their benefit, but for my benefit. Because sometimes I, I realize certain things. Like when I didn't have it, I still always try to you know make sure they was good. Right. Like, if I had a little money, and they say we hungry. Are we gonna get something to eat? Like I put, I used to put others before myself. But right. later on, when I I chilled out and I started to realize, they be like, "Yo, tell them we some food and go food." I'm like, nah, bro, I'm not trying to spend money right now. I feel you. And they they keep trying to influence me to spend money. Be like, bro, right. So you, I'm I'm gonna say you're not my man now because. You influence me to spend the money knowing that I already, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I say I don't want to spend it, I don't care if it's $2 that I got to spend. Right, 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 right. If right. I say I want to save, I want to save. Shoot, since you my man, you should support the fact that I want to save. Yeah, you understand that. So, for you to, like, try to, to motivate me to not, you know, better myself, got to, got to X you up. That's just what it is. You got to X you up. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. you're right. No, like... You're right, though, because some, some things, a thing I realized, man, is that you can't change your friends, but you can change your friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they going to be who they got to be. Sometimes you got to change your friend circle, man. And, uh, dang, I'm, dang, you did that early on, man. You did that early on because, you know, that's a hard thing for some people to do to let, let their friends go. Yeah, but, you know, my mom, yeah, she done put that in my head. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ever since that, like, when she used to say that, I used to be like... Now, like, thinking about it and getting ordered and seeing it, I'm like, wow. Yeah. I, I wish I did that earlier. I feel you. I feel you. But sometimes you grow with people and y'all doing the same thing, y'all live in the same neighborhood, sometimes it become hard. Because you look at these motherfuckers like, yeah, we all going through the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, I either you going somewhere, like, with your rap, like, your rap, your rap career. It'll take you somewhere and you might feel like, I can't leave them. I got to bring my friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that might hold you back from being where you want to go. So, yeah, man, sometimes sometimes telling your friends no and just stepping away can be a blessing for the both of y'all. Yeah. You know I mean, mean, that's why I kind of let, like my friend group. I value my friend group probably like in, going into like last year. Everybody had an idea what they want to do. Uh -huh. Cause I was like, I can't, I'm, I'm not about to surround myself with people that don't do nothing that day. That's dead. Right. We all got to be ahead of like a mindset somewhere where we want to go, something that we want to do. We all can focus on one thing. And then when everybody got this stuff, you know, we got to bring everything. We go put it together. I'm doing the rapping. 
Two of my friends got their brand. We got the winning team brand. We got the Illinois brand. My one, my female friend, she is a wax. She waxes people. Okay, okay. Then I don't know how y'all gonna mix that into the joint. Okay, well, yeah, we gonna figure it out. I'll then figure. My other friend, he a poet. Okay, so that's what's up. Man, everybody doing like one thing. Cause by the the goal is when we get out of high school, we got two years. Like we gonna start, we gonna stay till we got down. When we get out of high school, we got two years. That's when we get out, just two years, just straight grind, do what we gotta do. Hopefully, we gotta like promote as much as we can while in high school. When we get out, we already know what to get. We already know where to go. Yeah. We already know how to do it. That's why I'm using this this year is like to gain as much knowledge as I can about what I'm doing. I got you. So I got you. When I get out, I already know what to do. I got you. I got you. No, you right there. That's that's actually that's actually that's actually a thorough plan. I ain't gonna front, but you said two years, so. Within the two years, what do y'all want to have accomplished, though? Like, like, so what, what do you want to have in the two years? Because, you know, we come up on two years, Mark, on the pod. Yeah. Never took a dollar out of this joint. Never turned, never took a deal of nothing. Turned down anything we turned down because we knew we got to build this shit. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, how long, how patient are y'all to say, like, we just going to build this shit because it's ours. And then still be patient enough that if somebody comes to you with a dollar amount, but you be like, is not that's that's cool, but it ain't it ain't what I want because I want more. I know I'm worth more than that. Right. How patient y'all to be like say no to certain motherfuckers? You got you gotta have a, a lot of patience. Yeah, because you can't at the end of the, you can't rush greedy. It's okay, like, you gotta sometimes you gotta you gotta let things play out. If right. you feel like no, we can we can we as us we know we better. So why would we take this? We can get better. Absolutely, we can get more. The end of the world where I want to be at, at least have everything established like. Music, I'm music's moving like, like I, I'm, I want to be able to go outside and hear people listen to my music. Right, right, right. I feel you. And also, oh, that's, yeah, I got you. I, got I you. also want to be able to go outside and see people wearing the brand. I got you. That's that's the the ending goal. That's the established goal we want to be at. When we get to that point, I'm cool. Cause when we get to that point, I know it's gonna be gonna go up from there. We're gonna celebrate. Mm. But that's the plan, though. I feel you. I feel you. Yo, you right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. This is Lily from Paris. Yeah, we growing. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all, our overseas audience. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I get my allowance every week, but I want to save up for a trip. Can you provide a detail? Oh, this she want a budget and plan for a trip. Um, I don't know. I, let me see. I'm, I'm going to try to help with this. I don't know when you're going on your trip. Certain things that I do, right? When I budget my stuff, I break down how much I need to save a day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and I was like, you know what I mean? And I do it like that. Like, you know I mean, if I know, all right, I need $500 by this because we doing this or the roof needs to get fucking fixed or something. Mm-hmm. How much money do I need to make a day that I could put to the side to put towards that? You know what I mean? And I just do it like that. Like I said, little at a time. The, the smaller you can break it down, the easier it becomes. Mm-hmm. You can't just be like, I need $500 in two weeks. And just leave it at that. Because yeah. then you're going to be like, damn, that's a lot. But if you, you exactly. You're going, you know what I'm saying? So I break that shit down. And you know what I mean? Every day I leave the house, I make something. You know what I mean? I don't ever leave the house and don't come back with no type of money. So if I could be like, all right, all I need to do is put $20 a day to the side. And then we can do that. You work it out like that. But figure out how you can do it like smaller. And the longer, the longer you can prepare for something, the better. Like if it ain't like I need this by tomorrow. Yeah. You be like, yeah, like three months from now, I need this dollar amount. The longer you can prepare for it, the better you'll be. In that situation, it's all about just prepping. Yeah. Because, you know, you got to need money for the trip, you know, food, everything, too. Basically, what we said, yeah, prep, stay disciplined. Yeah, yeah. You got to how to stay your money. Yeah, man. Uh, All right, this one right here says, I made mistakes in the past that I deeply regret, and I want to learn from them. How can I take responsibility for my actions and grow as a person? Mm. Okay. Um. So, to be honest, I feel as though in that situation, you don't really got to do nothing. Like, sometimes you got to accept yourself as a person, even if, like, about your past. Even if your past was bad, that's what, that's what make, that's what, your past is going to make you who you are today. Y'all be feeling like that now? Because you're young. Like, what type of past do you have to say that your past is bad? I've done it. Some bad things with you. Yeah, but you young. With females? Yeah. Oh, alright. You going so somewhere like, else. My bad. Go ahead. You know, you like females. Once you do things with certain females, like they put that label on you. 
Do I regret what I did? No. Because just because you like sniffing toes and feet, I don't. I'm not gonna label you to smoke the toes to toe sniffer. Oh, toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know I mean, nah, no, go ahead. My bad. I'm glad. <laughs> He <laughs> said they label you stuff. So just because I like, I, I sniffed a couple of girls' feet. She come in the room. I'm in there with her shoes up to my nose. She telling me what's going on. What's going? I'm like, hey man, it's the hell. Like, Don't worry about me, baby girl. Like, this is my, my own thing I got going on. I need you to like, I come back around You knew what it was when you met me. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. But oh, we just gonna say like I made some decision with some certain females that I ain't gonna lie, I, I do regret, but at the end of the day, like I'm not gonna say like I wish I didn't do it. I feel you, I feel you. Cause made me who I am today. Like I like I like who I am. You I'm, just wish you wouldn't have hurt that person if you if you did hurt them. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah, but no. I got you. Yeah, but no. Some, yeah, but no? Yeah, some so some people deserve to get hurt. Some people deserve to get hurt. You're a monster. Yeah, that's what they call me. That's what I'm saying. Damn. We woke up on demon time today. <laughs> like, some, some, I feel like girls, they got like, not just pride, but like they feel like they over the top. Like they over everybody. So sometimes you got humble with females. Okay. Well, well, it's a way that you do it, though. Yeah. I'm not going to drag you to humble you. That's what I'm saying. That's why the communication come into it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then you might have to realize that some girls might not be humble. Because the way that you live might not be the way that they live. Like, she could probably live somewhere where her mom act like that, her grandma act like that, her aunts act like that. So she might not be able to be humble because yeah, that's she, all she knows. She might not be phased by it. Right. She might not be phased by it. That's why art. For example, look at like Krishan and Blueface. Blue we might look at that like, that's crazy. But if they live like that. That's how they date them. She if her mom, if her mom was always like that, his dad, and his, if he, that's all he ever, if he grew up, and that's all he ever seen, if she grew up, that's all she ever seen, to her, that's normal, like, to her, that's love, yeah. you know what I mean, she can get with a motherfucker that can love her to death, she wouldn't be able to accept it, cause she ain't never had cause it, she don't, yeah, that's not normal to her, like, you know what I'm saying, she look at, she might look at a motherfucker like, you weird, mm -hmm. that's how I come in the hood art, where we at in the hood, right, we glorify girls go after like they like the bad boys. Cause that's all that's the hood. Mm -hmm. A motherfucker that's doing good, they be like, oh he a lame. He can love you to death, right? He a lame though. But because she's so used to the environment that she in. Mm -hmm. So everybody around her, like, you know, in the hood is more sometimes it's more negative than it is positive. So you get used to that. So yeah, you know I mean a motherfucker. Certain women be with men that might put their hands on her and she can she consider that love. Mm. That's why I'm saying, like, everybody's different. Everybody norm is different. You know what I mean? That's so, blocking your blessing, though, at the same time. I just think, I think certain people just, certain people might need therapy for certain things. Yeah, definitely. They want therapy. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Look, the whole reason for us living where we live at, right, and don't we do, you know, I'm from North Philly. You've been there just going to see your grandma, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Like, certain shit that I've seen, that I grew up with, is not normal. Like, even you, even though we here, like, we in Northeast, it's not North Philly, but certain shit that you see is not normal. You know what I mean? Like, you might go somewhere, like, let's say you get your rap career, you somewhere else. You might be like, yeah, man, my homie and them just got killed. I remember, because I did this when I was in school, when I was in college, and the lady was like, I never know nobody get killed. And I looked at her like she was crazy. Like, you ain't never know nobody got killed. Yeah. But that's crazy to me. Like, that's a, you shouldn't know nobody get killed. Like, you should, everybody should live their life and grow old. And, you know what I'm saying? Peaceful, right. Yeah. So I'm looking at her like she crazy, but then really I'm crazy. Like, why should I look at her like there's something wrong with her because she don't know nobody got killed. And I'm just, I'm just cool with it. So, you know what I mean? Like, certain things is normal is not normal. And, like, we got this trauma that we live with that we might need help. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we might need help. Like, because we carry that shit with us everywhere we go. So, in your relationships, in your work life, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? With your children. It's like, it's an everyday life. It's an every, yeah, every day. Like, we carry the struggle with us everywhere we go. You know what I mean? So, there's a lot of things that, like, I just, you, you, even in your case, you got to be careful of the girls that you, you know what I mean? You start to, and it's not your life, but because a girl can see you as the exit. Oh, yo, he doing good. His mom and his dad doing all right. I'm just going, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
And now you just you gonna be the fucking you gonna be my fucking Super Mario to help me out in this situation. Right. So you know what I mean? You gotta be careful, like you know what I mean, on how how certain women approach you because certain women, certain women, certain women and girls are just they just wanna survive. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they'll do whatever they gotta do to survive. Yeah, anything to survive. Yeah, whatever I gotta do. Like, whatever I gotta do, that's what I'm gonna do. What I'm saying the last episode, it's an evil world. It bro. is, it's evil, evil you're right though. But you gotta be careful because there's some women, they don't care what they gotta do. They'll still from they they'll they'll take their best friend man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, he doing good? Oh, all right, I'm taking that nigga. I need all that. I'm not trying to struggle. And the, the thing the thing about boys, like men, what makes it bad, the will some boys men will fall for it. They'll fall for it. We gotta move though. <sighs> like ain't Men like what they see, women like what they hear. Yeah, men bro. This is why women get dressed up and this is why men lie. We lie because they like what we they what they hear from us. Mm -hmm. They get all dialed up because we like what we see. That's what it is. It's like a loophole. It is. That's what I'm saying. It's fucked up, right? It is. <laughs> so that's just what it is. Women get dialed all up and we fall in love with that shit. And there's niggas out here that lie about what they can do. Because they know if I lie to her, she gonna love it. Even if it only buy me a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she ain't gonna never know, so like, why not the hell? Yeah, so you know what I mean? So, sir, well, it's, it is crazy. Like, we should all be just be honest with each other. That'd be the best thing, you know what I'm saying? If we all just honest with each other. Because even with you being honest, it's somebody for everybody. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta lie to me. It's somebody for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. Sometimes I be looking at my situation like, damn, I'm glad I'm older. Y'all generation, wow! Like I wouldn't be able to trust none of these girls, none at of all. these situations. At all. You know what I'm saying? Like, girls, they shimmy cool, everything. They was like, they do it they best to just keep a situation. Girls, damn, they like niggas now. <laughs> you the, said, whole, the, whole, the whole world of yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the, the boys are all sexy and everything. The girls <laughs> said the boys are sexy. The boys be sexy. Then the girls be like, acting like the boys. Like, I'm walking to school. I'm straight walking to school. Girl, we had the ball. I'm like, oh no. And the day already starts. I'm starting our day. Yeah. Like, I don't. The, our generation is so confusing. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm at the point. I'm not surprised by anything that be happening nowadays. Like, man, I'm just like, that's our generation. Something yeah. bad is the weird things happen. It's fucked up, though, man. Like, I just pray that you find somebody to be happy with, man. Because I know that's it's just going to be hard, man. Like, because you figure the mothers, the mothers of the girls you deal with are younger, mm -hmm. right? So you got to hope that they instill enough into them for them to become, you know what I mean, productive young women. Because mm -hmm. a lot of these girls don't know how to cook. At all. You know what I'm saying? So you got these requirements that you want me to be. You want me to be this provider, this protector. Mm -hmm. You can't even cook me a meal, though. Some girls can't even keep up with the hygiene. I've seen that. <laughs> like, no, for real. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I hear about our generation. Girls will ask for so much. What do you do? Yeah. What do you like? You, you work, you cook. Because I ain't going to lie. A, girl, you, one of the, a boy with money? Y'all be broke, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. have no bread. Y'all right. don't work. Y'all not productive. You you probably don't got no like morals, right, right, what right. you wanna do. Like you don't got no set goal, but you want a boy got everything going from himself. They got a car, they got a job. You know they probably live by themselves. How that they work if you don't got you don't do nothing either? Right, you're right. Like you're how right. I see it, it gotta go both ways. If I'm being, if I'm doing something, I'm trying to get myself together. You gotta be in the same type of time. Yeah, you gotta at least have at least something going for yourself. Either you know what you're doing, you got a job. Or you trying to get yourself right. Or you at least helping me out, right? Mm -hmm. I feel you, I feel you. But like, just not being able to do nothing. Like, I don't care how good you look. Yeah. You not doing nothing. I'm sorry. You got, you got scratch. Because I learned the hard way, like, looks can be very deceiving. That's why I'm a personality person. Like, if you, if you, me and your personality connect, I'm already liking you. Because looks, looks ain't, ain't nothing no more. I feel you. Damn, I feel you right about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this shit is a wild one right here. Say, hey, guys, I'm in a, poly a polyamorous relationship. You know what that is, right? Oh, yeah. Polyamorous relationship is when is a, it could either be, I think I think polyamorous means it's a girl and two guys. No, no. Polyamorous it's is a, a guy, guy and two, two girls. girls. Uh, it's another term for a girl and two guys, it's, but it's not polyamorous. So polyamorous means it's a guy and two girls. You know what I'm saying? And we're having some issues with boundaries. Any advice on how to set clear boundaries and respect each other's needs. Would you help me do something like that? 
I won't even lie to you. It was a thought. It was a thought? Yeah. That's too much, though, man. It, it is. I can't make two people happy at the same time. Like, I don't know how you can do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He talking about set boundaries. How you gonna set boundaries? Because, all right, this this, this might have been, I don't think this is from like a younger uh, a younger listener. This might be older. So you figure, if y'all are probably in a relationship, right? Let's say y'all all live together. How we gonna set boundaries? Like, how how do we do that? We all, you know I know what I'm saying? Like, like boundaries as in like, don't treat like her better than her. How can I not, how, but, but who determines that? That's what I'm saying. As a female, right? You can see me do something that to me, it's nothing, but you like, oh, you don't, you don't bring my plate to me when it's time to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now you thinking, I'm doing more for her than I'm doing for you. Right. Or I can just be like, oh, oh, yeah, you know I mean, man, let me cut your steak up for you. Oh, you don't cut my steak up for me when it's, you know what I mean? And that, that, that's a female thing. That's what I'm saying, though. That's a female thing. That's what I'm saying, though. So how do we, we all got to be on the same page. You know what I mean? Because if, yeah. if we in the crib, if I, would I just sleep in the middle like this? <laughs> I can't put my arm on her. Oh, when you went to sleep last night, you had your arm on her. You ain't even hold me. Yeah, I don't know. You could do like get in that situation because I feel like if it's like two girls, one of them will have a problem with something you're doing. Always. Another one will have a problem with something you're doing. It's like it's not about boundaries, but it's more like set a standard. So like, but the standard is already crazy because I'm gonna do some two women into my life. What if I have kids? What if what if I get one of y'all pregnant? Now I'm gonna bring a shot into this. This. So you gonna have. Your dad, your mom, and your other mom. That might be good with the child. Yeah, three parents. What? Three parents too. How that's good with the child, dog? So you telling me, let's say that was a situation we was in, right? And your friends know that. Damn, what's going on with your crib? You got to do Who that? Who that be with your father? Ain't mm -hmm. your mom. So now you got to answer questions that you shouldn't even have to answer. I'm straight telling them, stay down. They getting punched on. <laughs> that's what it is. Yo, man. But then, yeah, man. But no, like, I don't know, man. It's kind of. It's hard. I would say it's hard to set boundaries in a situation where you have an extra person because everybody can be on the same page. You know what I mean? It's hard to keep everybody on the same. Page. Yeah, we all gotta be on one accord, man. And who's to say that we all gonna do that? Cause she'll say something right now. She'll say like, "All right, I'll do it." In the back of my mind, I'm talking about that shit. All right. She'll say, "I, I don't know, man. This is, I don't know. That's kind of hard." You you know you got any friends that do that? No. Keep thinking, huh? Yeah, you got it. I got it, I think. Because that's why I go from it. I, that's why I, I couldn't be able to do that, man. Nah, think about that. That's so crazy. I, I've never, like, officially seen, like, a relationship like that in person with three people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be delusional. I feel you. I feel you. You right, man. This is right here say, uh, I'm Daniel from New York. I just went through a tough breakup. Can you provide detailed advice on how to heal and move on after ending a significant relationship? My oh, man, Danny. Self-love is the best love. So sometimes you got to do like little things to just keep up with your mental. I mean, like try not to think about that. So like spiritual things, meditate, pray. Oh, that's, so, that's, that's, so you work out a lot too, your workout routine? I got you. Yeah. You work out. Do just do a little thing that can take your mind off the situation. Right. And as you take your mind off the situation, the wound will heal through time. Yeah. Until you should be alright. The crazy thing about it, though, a lot of times we think that it be that, but it just be the time. Like, yeah. cause it can be like, damn, I would be chilling with Shorty right now. It be the time, like, and you don't have nothing to fill in that time with. So I agree with you. You right. You did on. Cause if you fill in that time with like. The meditation, the working out, you don't tend to think about like that because now you you occupying yourself with something else. Mm -hmm. Instead of sitting there dwelling on it like, damn, we would be chilling right now, man. And you dwelling on that. So, I mean, sometimes it's the time and we don't feel in the time, you know what I'm saying, with anything. And it make you just worry about that shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, you right, man, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you had any heart breakups yet? Yeah. Already? At 18? That's strong one. My Several? There more my, than one? My 10th grade year, that was like my first. Remember that video? Oh, you checking at the Chester? Okay, okay. That was, yeah, my, yeah. that was my first committed ever relationship. I, I told you about her. I told you I didn't like yeah. you going up there. Chester was a wild area. That, that was the most mentally draining relationship I've ever been in in my life. That 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 changed my whole view. Well, hold on. Not to talk about her, because I mean, we don't know. I don't know who listens to the podcast. As we, we area, right? But you already saw how her situation was with her parents and stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember, because it was certain things she was doing. I was like, 
Oh, uh, people was cool with that? Yeah, like, because I think it was Halloween where her mom took you to the haunted house, right? And I think something happened where you were supposed to spend a night over there? Yeah. And I was like, she cool, you spend a night over there? I'm like, they with you. Because that would never happen here. You know, that would never. What? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I was just, certain things that I was just like, I, I kind of questioned. But I'm like, you know what I mean? You, you look at people, you look at people like surroundings and they, and they, and they, and they situations, you just, I just pray for kids, man, because we put kids in certain environments and we expect them to be productive, but the environment is chaotic. Yeah. Then we get mad at the child for not doing what we want the child to do. You know what I mean? But we don't get them the tools to do what they should do. So, you know what I mean? I just, I just wish, I wish them the best, man. You know what I mean? Because her situation was, I'm not going to say it was wild because I really didn't know her. From the stuff that like you would tell me or the conversations we had, I was just like, nah, yeah, her situation was wild. It was definitely wild. Yeah. It was bad. But I didn't know. And, 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 and that you enjoyed it. Whoa. Like the time, the time was with her and everything went through, I, I, feel, I enjoyed it. But it was more like, it was for the best of You said it was emotionally draining, bro. It was. But like, it was more of a, I was, I was dumb. Like, Love will make you do certain things. Love will make was you it love it. though? Don't confuse. You know what I mean, you just chilling with on, somebody. On my part, it was. It like, was love. I ain't never act how I acted with her towards any female. Her, mm -hmm. it was more of like she was the type she always wanted attention. Like okay, she okay. did. She did everything for attention. Like she's one of like she on TikTok every day. She's going on live. Oh wow. Day. She's trying to be TikTok famous, Instagram famous. She's the type she'll follow people on Instagram, get all the followers, and unfollow people. Like I was, she was one of them. She loved attention. So I was like. So those was the signs right there. Yeah, Somebody yeah. show you who they is, believe them. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I was dumb though. I ain't take the signs. See, talking stuff was out there. Yeah. Damn, well, you could tell I was not. I was there. That was. I wasn't in social media then. That was like when I think I stopped doing TikTok. Remember I used to do TikTok for two K. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you right. Yeah. yeah Damn. Yeah, yeah, you right. You right. You right. I do remember that. I do remember that. Damn. You right. You right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You gotta be careful, man. You know what I'm saying. I wish her the best. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying she. Is, is is being productive and thriving right now, man. Yeah, you know I mean, you keep in touch with people, or you once you're done, you're done. Now, no, once you're done, you're done. You I feel it. you. Scrap scrape, get them out of here. They get cut. It's like yeah, that. Yeah. I feel you. Uh, it says Lucas from Los Angeles here. My parents are really strict, and it's causing issues at home. Can you share detailed advice on how to handle this situation and find common ground with them? Sometimes it's best to have an actual a sit down conversation with your parents. Do you think we strict? No. Mm -hmm. uh, never, never. We like never was strict. Do you think we start easing mm -hmm. up as you got older? Definitely easing up as I got older. Cause like even like not certain diverse, they be saying they was like, I don't, I'm the most privileged. It's just cause like as I get older, <laughs> I want to do like as I they they was like when they got older, they never really want to do much. But, I I was just like I, I always want to do something because I was the most active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. It's not so much art, so it's not so much that you're the most privileged, right? It's the fact of as time go by, as time go on, the parents, you know what I'm saying, we we get better with what we do too, right? So we make more money too. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, we could be struggling because we trying to figure what the fuck to do and how to get things done. We young too. Mm -hmm. We young and dumb too as parents, right? So you know what I mean, we went through certain struggles and shit. And as we got better with that, then I was like, oh, why are we got that's how come you can go to a scissor concert? Or a powerhouse kind of certain, or so do certain shit that you do, but they can't say that you privileged over them because, I mean, it's still went on prom, right? Mm -hmm. Not Sarah went on prom. Did that make one prom? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I remember. I remember that picture. All of them. Yeah, he went to prom. Oh well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so they can't say that you more privileged. It's just they think like that. But yeah, you know I mean, and, you know, plus it's less and less. It's less and less of them. They forget that. Like, when it was Amia here, it was Amia, you. Not, you know what I mean? It was the more people that start getting up and leaving, now was less, more attention can be focused on other people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It's not the same. Like, it's not like that. I think I think as time, we kind of ease up too, man. But like, the world that we live in, a lot of a lot of kids don't understand. Like, it's not us being strict. It's like, we might just be fearful of what yeah. can happen. Paranoia, because the way the world is, they they normalize killing people out there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like so you really gotta be, you really gotta be on your kids because you really, especially art, right, especially when you come from like certain things like us, like 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 our culture, you don't want your kids to make the same mistakes you made. So you be strict on them because you like, yo, I want you to be better than me. 
I don't want you to struggle like I'm struggling. So certain certain times I might be I might be sort I might be strict certain times. Certain times I might talk to you and give you like too much information. Sometimes I'm like, damn, I hope I overload it. I might say too much shit. Like I gotta, you know what I mean? Give it to him at times so he can understand what I'm saying. I just everything at one time. You know what I'm saying? So it's not the fact that we just so strict. It's just the fact of we just want what's best for y'all. Mm-hmm. Now I mean, the shit might look like it's strict, but certain times we we see we see the fucking what's gonna happen before it happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just trying to protect y'all from that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a joint with somebody from Philly in this J. Oh, it says, uh, James from Philly, man. Yo, I hate it out here. There's no opportunity. Nobody looks out for each other. I hate Philadelphia. I'm ready to leave. How do y'all feel about this? And how do y'all thrive in Philly? You hate Philly? Do I hate Philly? I can't hate the city. I feel you. I hate the environment, like I like the environment, the what people do. I think a lot of people hate the city though, but I love the city too. But y'all feel you. It's more like coming from Philly, like you can't. I can't hate it. I live here, but it's like I do wish we did things differently because the way you think it is now is hard. Opportunity wise, it's actually a lot of things, a lot of opportunities you can do in Philly. I feel like, I feel like Philly, you can easily blow up in Philly. You think so? Yeah. Damn, I don't feel like that. You gotta think about it. Philly was come out of nowhere. They snap a rip. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. They did, they did. A lot of Philly, right? They just came out of nowhere and started just drunk. But, 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 all right, I'm gonna say, like, they did, right? But are they as big as they as they should be, or should they be bigger? Because, all right, we know in Philly, because they Philly. Mm-hmm. Are they known in all the other spots like they should be? You yeah, think so? I remember, I remember, this was less. What's his last year? Dude, this is 10th grade year. I remember they made a song Stream Locker. They all went to Miami. They dropped Stream Locker. After that, they were just going to places. Every state, state to state, drop a song. Drop a song. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. I feel like they they, they where they need to be at. See, I think they all verified, too. But they is definitely just stuff off TikTok. That's one thing about TikTok. TikTok, back then, mind you, you able to make good money on TikTok. And it was, it was, it was easy to get views and get followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they took that to advantage. They shit, you was making money off of TikTok. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that too, the 2K and as many things. I was like, I'm mad. But when the consumer that person bought TikTok, they changed the whole policy. So you don't even make nothing now. Uh, uh. That's the that's main reason why I stopped. If they were still doing what they were doing, I would have never stopped TikTok. I would have kept going. But that just changed everything. Yeah. But. See, the only reason I say that, right, because with me going to like Atlanta, and I don't even know if you know like the Atlanta scene. Out of Atlanta, it's like if you go to Atlanta, be like, yo, I rap. Somebody be like, oh, you do? My man got a studio here. This dude rap, this dude here, producer. They'll link you with everything that you need. I think in Philly, this could just be me. Like, maybe it's my, my the older generation, right? I hope it is, because I hope it'll phase out. Because I hope that, I mean, y'all do start linking up and y'all do use all your resources to do what y'all want. For me, if I'm like, yo, you know, I got a podcast, they're like, oh, yeah. Well, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he can be the motherfucker that, yo, I know such and such. They got a studio over here. They got this. Mm-hmm. They don't want to help nobody. Because it's like a motherfucker don't want you to blow and get bigger than them. You know what I'm saying? He, he won't you be on himself. Yeah, sometimes they, some, sometimes they really feel like that. Because I'm going to say it like this. It's too many, it's too much talent in Philly for us not to be on like this big scale. Even mm-hmm. if you go like trade rags, like not just the rappers, like the comedians. You know what I mean? Like, it's too much talent in Philly for us not to be like, you know what I'm saying, have our hands in everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's weird. Like, I can't tell people what to do, right? Because people got to live their own lives. But we have people in places. But I feel like, because I don't want to say shit that's going to be like, I'm trying to think of a way to say it. Like, we got people in places, right? That's like the major people. But sometimes I look at them and I'm like, damn, why they not reaching back to help? Mm-hmm. But then again, I don't know what they're doing to say they not. Like, I can't look at a Meek Mills and be like, why Meek ain't got Philly Goats on the track? Yeah. I, but I don't know what he's doing. He could he can be doing something else, right? So I can't say that. Or you can look at like somebody like Kevin Hart. Like, why Kevin Hart ain't grab a, you know what I'm saying, or a meatball or a, you know what I mean, the, the other boy that be doing the jokes, you know what I'm saying? You know, the boy be crying like, Stink, open the door, Stink. <laughs> you know what I mean? The boy from Philly, like, everything like, why don't, you know what I'm saying? But then again, I don't know what they're doing. They could be doing that, right? right. But sometimes it's like, 
If you don't see it, you don't know it. Yeah. And I don't know, man. Cause like we got the we got major pieces in all these industry fields. I feel like Philly should be like that spot where people could come and we really just really blowing up. Like it should be more it should be more opportunities for y'all. Like how you had to go see a, a program for you to find a studio. Man, the studio should be in every fucking hood. Mm -hmm. Just booming. Every hood should have a studio and it could be because Philly Ghost is from where? They from West? No, because some of them, I think, up like came from like Somerville, I'm from Trippin. All right, well, yeah, so you figure they up there, this over here, everybody got their own spot. And then when everybody come together, it should be like that. Mm -hmm. It should be like, yo, we killing over here, y'all killing over here. Yo, you know what? We all gonna put our money together, we gonna book a joint at the Met, and we all gonna perform. And just all show off for the city. It's only like, People in Philly ain't selfish. They don't want nobody. Nah, I'm not going to say just Philly, but I know what you mean, though. Yeah. It's just different. Maybe because I've I been to Atlanta a couple of times just to go see my mom and them. And just the vibe out there, different. Like, people out there just like, what do you do? Oh, I do this. Oh, my God, you do that? Look, he got this, and he got that, and he got this. I'm going to give you this person's number. And you be like, yeah. sometimes you be like, you don't know how to take it. You be like, whoa, what the fuck going on? Yeah, go over here. That's why they be coming from Philly. Like, this motherfucker trying to lie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, like, it's something you never had. So like, when they just doing it, I'm like, what you got going on? Yeah, like, I don't know if I'm safe or not right now. I don't know how to feel. Yeah, but that's why I think that's why they be saying like Atlanta, like the most like successful. Like it is. Bro, you go to Atlanta. I'm just no lie. Not whenever I went out there to see my mom and my sister, you just go out there. And it'll be like three Rolls Royces just ride past you. Oh and it'll be nothing, though. It'll be nothing. Like, it don't be like, yo, look at the Rolls. It'll be nothing. You know what I'm saying? It'll be just regular. It's normal down there. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just different, man. You know what I'm saying? It is just different, bro. When you go down there, like, everybody speak. It's not like up here. You know, up here, if I don't know you, I ain't saying nothing to you. Mm -hmm. You go down to Atlanta. Hey, how you doing? Hello. How you, hey, how you doing? Everybody. Everybody speak. It's just a different environment, man. So, you know what I mean? I hope and I pray that, you know what I'm saying, whatever me, whatever me and ISO do, we can see, 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 see some things through to see Philly change and turn around. But right now, that's why I said maybe it's different for me than it is you, and I hope it is. I hope I hope you do get linked with somebody and they can, but certain things be threatening to people. Like a motherfucker can see you like, yo, damn boy, really, he better than me rapping. You know what I mean? That can be threatening them like, no, I ain't gonna help him out, yo, because he gonna he gonna blow up and get bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta be careful, man. Like, I don't know. It's so I kind of understand what he's saying, but even though that can be true, you can't not not do nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You can't say, ain't no opportunity, ain't this and that, and you just like fuck it. I hate it over here. You still gotta create your own shit. Yeah. Cause then when you do it and you blow, it feel even better. Let go like. Craziest feeling in the world. Yeah, it feel even better. Like it feel even better. You know what I'm saying? When you doing it like actually by yourself, like you doing it yourself and you watching it like grow and build up. I just like, yeah, like you, you can't believe your eyes. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna do one more, man. You know what I'm saying? This will be the last one right here. This joint say, uh, I'm Olivia from Berlin. Uh and I've been in a relationship for a while, and I'm not sure if it's love or just infatuation. Can you share a personal experience or advice to help me figure this out? She don't know if she in love or is infatuation. The crazy thing about it is that infatuation grows to love. Like, it can grow to that. So even if it's infatuation, that don't mean that it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you can like a motherfucker and then love him. Yeah, it's all, you gotta build up. Right, you gotta build to that. Like, so even if it is infatuation, that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. It can grow to be love. So even if you mistaken the two, it's still cool. Like, as long as you happy in your relationship and y'all doing what y'all gotta do to get to that point. You know what I mean? Have you ever been in the joint where have you ever questioned somebody else though? You said about the uh, the other relationship that we talking about. Like, but like you was like, love. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you was like, yeah, you say that shit, but I don't know. Yeah. And yeah, times I'd be thinking like, cause girl, they the, the, the scariest thing for a man. To see is a girl lie to me and they feel because uh, girls can lie in your face and be like bawling, crying, all that. Yeah. So that's my biggest fear. Like girl lying to me. That's why I always like let let it be known beforehand. 
I don't do lying. I don't like lying. You lie to me, bro. You're cut off. Oh, I can't. I like. I hate the lying. So, for a girl to say that, be like, I love you, but I lie about that. That's that's that that can mess up like a man up. It can in so many ways. I agree. I agree. But that's vice versa, though. Like, if a man do that to a girl, that's not cool either. Like, cause girls are are, are very very emotional people. Right. So, for you to like. That's why I kind of like hate our generation. Like, boys will play with girls' mental. Yeah, I think they think it's cool. Like, because the reason why they do it to us, because we, we did it to them. We don't, them out, they be doing it bad. We don't like it. So, like, I feel like at one point, Philly will come to like our understanding and everything is going to stop. I think so. Like, I feel like it's going to be like a perfect triangle. Right now, we, we, we scramble. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunate in the, in the situation, it's going to be collateral damage. Yeah. It's going to be motherfuckers going to get lost. Yeah, you know I mean, but I, I think I think it will. I think I think it will though. Yeah, I mean I agree with you on that, man. You know what I'm saying? It it has to. You know what I'm saying? It has to. Like it, it's it has to. Like, you know what I mean? We can't continue doing what we doing. We got we gotta we gotta keep going. We gotta keep surviving. We gotta keep doing we gotta keep building. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh once again, man, you know what I mean? Knock this joint out, you know what I mean? You wanna shout anything shot anybody out, man? This is the The winning team. Okay. You know what we doing? I shouldn't explain to y'all what was going on. Thoughts on? I already know what was going on. We actually had this conversation yesterday. We got one. There you go. No doubt, man. We got one. Yeah, I mean, the winning team, man. Shouts out to y'all. ISO, man. Get well soon so we can get back to the business. Y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn ISO show. If you don't know, and now you know. We out of here. Like, rate, review, share, subscribe. Peace.